Examples of options and approaches. Approaches and options for managing identified LN issues in relation to workplace diversity have included the following which may be seen as representative of suitable practice. Using an external training provider to provide specialist LLN support to deliver in the job or off the job courses. Employing within the business as LLN specialist or teacher with suitable qualification coupled with relevant industry knowledge to give proper context to training. Using support available through government agencies with responsibility for immigration, employment, and or industry development, specialist government-funded programs are sometimes available to support targeted staff development in, the, in this area. Obtaining input from local community support and or voluntary services who sometimes operate free programs for people who certain backgrounds. Encouraging workers to generate personal word list as relevant to their workplace task and responsibility. Provided, providing dictionaries in the workplace other than computer-based tausurus to allow encourage people to look up words under spelling. Using a translator to translate forms, instructions, checklists, and other workplace documentation into required other languages. Providing completed model documents for employees to use as model templates for documents they are required to complete. Generating scripts for staff to use as a model for. Dealing with customers, making sales and providing standards information. Handling predictable situations which occur regularly. Making sure those with LLN problems are given opportunities to verbally discuss requirements of job tasks, as opposed to simply replying on email, signs, or other document to communicate critical information and work instructions or directions. Using visual communication to supplement the spoken and or written word, including explanatory charts and tables, audio, video, and pictures. Notifying staff at job interviews and the support available for anyone with LLN needs and enforcing with more detailed advice about the help provided by the employer as part of the standard induction and orientation program. Nominating a staff member to be primary contact person for any employee with an LLN issue as distinct from nominating a management level person, issuing awards to staff who achieve designated competency in their LLN development, buddying up staff with more competent workers so they receive ongoing and individualist assistance from a colleague who can demonstrate the required com competency and has relevant experience in the job role.